Hey guys, welcome back to the Plugged In Podcast. I'm your co-host, Kyler Winston. And I'm Amir Ahmed. And today we have a special alumni named Caden Berg. Hello, I'm Caden Berg. Um, I graduated in 2018 from Chancellor. And I'm here to discuss. We are so happy to have you here today. So we have a list of questions and they'll just kind of um, prompt discussion. So I'll start off with that. Um, first, can you tell us a little bit about your time at Chancellor and your transition to college? Yeah, um, so like I said, I graduated in 2018 and um, for me, high school was awesome. Like I loved high school. Sometimes I wish I could go back um, I did soccer and like clubs and all that stuff. So I think that did help me to stay involved and it was, it was better for my experience overall. And, um, transitioning into college was also fairly easy for me, which I, I guess I'm very lucky for that. But, um, especially transitioning to a community college, it was like kind of the same thing as high school almost, except like you don't have all your friends in one place. You kind of have to like start over, which was fine. But yeah, it was, it was very similar to high school, except, you know, obviously it's college. So you got to work a little bit harder, <laughs> but overall it was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good for me. So. Awesome. Kyler, do you want to get the next question? Yeah. So what are the major pros when choosing community college? Um, when choosing a community college, um, well, I'm, I don't really know. We, we kind of have Germana here and, and luckily for us in our area, Germana is actually a really good community college. So that made it very easy for me to choose, but it kind of comes down to, um, the program you're looking for. Cause I know that like Nova has a bunch of really good programs that Germana might not have. Um, so you kind of got to just do your research and figure out what would be best for you. But um, being located where we are, that's that's why I chose Germana because it's very close. And um, they also are, like I said, a really good program overall. Um, but yeah, you just kind of got to just figure out what is best for location and um, the education that you're looking for. So research, basically. Awesome. Um, I'm going to skip around the questions a little bit, Kyler. Um, but the next one is, what kind of opportunities did you find that um, accompanied your choice um, or when choosing a community college right out of high school? Opportunities? Um, oh man, that's a, that's a pretty good question. Um, I guess, personally, I think choosing a uh, community college first was a good choice for me. And granted, it's different for every person, you know, like you kind of got to figure out what your needs and wants are first before you choose. But for me, um, community college first was a good choice for me because like I'm really close with my family and I, I think it would have been hard for me to leave them. But along with that, I've, um, you know, I have responsibilities that I have to attend to. And so I think community college allowed me to continue working while I'm getting my education, which for me was important. Well, I mean, I, I could have gotten a job somewhere else, but you know, it comes down to like money, financials, and like it was the best choice for me and my family. And it, um, it gave me the ability to save up a bunch of money so that I could, when I do transfer, I have like a cushion kind of, and I don't really have to stress about financials or all this other stuff. And um, I could kind of relax a little bit once I transitioned. And I think that was the best, the best thing for me um, with community college, so. So did you apply to any other colleges or universities before deciding on community college? Yes, I did. Um, Actually, it was a bit of a roller coaster deciding to go to community college. Um, 
So my junior year of high school, I was actually committed to play soccer at a university. And um, soon after I realized that I didn't really want to do that. Like I love soccer, but I didn't, I didn't really want to like pursue it at that level anymore, you know? And instead I wanted to join the military. And so I went through that process, which was crazy all on its own. And they just wouldn't let me join because for like medical reasons. And by the time I got that information back that I wasn't allowed to join the military, I kind of, my options were extremely limited. And so I used the options that I had and I, you know, looked at them and I could have still gone to the school that I had originally been to, but it was very expensive. And I was like, I don't really want to do that to my family, even though it's not really a, a huge deal for my family. Cause they told me, they're like, if you want, like, it's fine, like do it. But I didn't really want to put them like through all that. And honestly, I didn't really care to go there. And so I decided that I would just go to community college first and like kind of take that year or two, whatever I chose to do and, and uh, take that time to like reassess and like literally start over and start looking at schools again from there. Cause like, I mean, your, your needs and wants change like on a daily basis almost. So I um, took my time and like, restarted the research and now that I soccer was off the table there was like more options for me to look at and so from there that's that's when I was able to narrow it down to what I really wanted to do so yes I did apply to other places thank you I think um that uh what you said about um, what your needs and your wants changing all the time is mm -hmm. very relevant right now, especially with our current situation. Um, I know a lot of my college plans definitely changed. So our next question is, um, I know you mentioned uh, transitioning to a different school after um, community college. So how has COVID-19 interfered with your transition? Um, I mean, it, I'm sure for everyone, it's been very tough very very difficult to navigate and adjust to those changes but luckily for me I um, transferred to VCU uh, over a year ago so it was pre-COVID when I did the transition um, but I mean e even a year into being at VCU it still feels new to me to be there and so when all the COVID stuff hit um, last semester, I'd only, I'd only been a semester and a half in to VCU. So it was very, very, very difficult for me to go from like walking to class every day to having to just turn on my laptop. And even I moved back home for like six months, which was like, I mean, it was fine, but like, it was very different for me to go from living alone to coming back in off like the snap of a finger. So I had to figure out how to literally do school in a new way. I had to change all my habits. I had to make a schedule and actually follow it because you know how difficult it can be to have stuff online to like motivate yourself to actually do it. So it was tricky for me to do that. But like I said, luckily I had that first semester to kind of ease into the VCU, you know, rhythm, but yeah, it was definitely, it was definitely tricky and it still is like, I'm still, still learning how to do it. Every semester is different. Every professor is different. Every class is different. So, you know, at the start, you just kind of, you got to figure out what works best for that class, figure out how to navigate it being online and just go from there. And the hardest part is self-motivating, self-motivating yourself to actually do those things, you know. So you talked about your transition um, with like going from in-person with college courses to online with college courses. Was there any time that you thought like, oh man, this wasn't for me? Or did you just like, you just rolled with it? Oh yeah, there's definitely times where I was like, man, I cannot do this. Like I signed up for in-person classes, like, this isn't fair. Why do I have to do this? You know, like, I don't want to do this. I want to take a break and like restart when we're in person. But at the end of the day, like, I know what I want with my life and I 
I personally don't really have the time to take that break, which I mean, a lot of people might have to take that break because online is so different from in person. And it's a lot tougher because I mean, part of it is ultimately teaching yourself the information. And a lot of people can't do that. I mean, myself included, it just, um, yeah, it comes down to figuring out how badly you want to get your education over with or, you know, get to your goal. And for me, I, I just want to rip that bandaid off and just get it done and get my degree so I can start my life. So I kind of just powered through it. You know, I push myself every day to just wake up and do today, do the work for today. And we'll talk about tomorrow, tomorrow, you know, like one day at a time type thing, daily schedules. So yeah, it does, it does come down to your, how motivated you are to get through it because it, it can be very, very difficult. Thank you. Okay. Um, our next one is if you could change one thing about your journey in community college or with community college, what would it be? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I would actually change anything, but there are definitely times when I'm looking at like my friends, social medias, or just hearing them talk about their experiences from going from high school straight into a university or a college. And, you know, like you make a lot of your lifelong friends that first year freshman dorm type thing, like, and I didn't get that experience. I was in my childhood bedroom, my freshman year of college, you know? And so sometimes I'm like, man, I, I really wish that I could have had that experience that all these other people have. But at the end of the day, the pros that came along with going to the community college for me outweigh those cons. And so that's why I wouldn't really change anything. Um, honestly, I might have gone for my second year of community college if I were to redo it, just because it is so much cheaper for the same education. And it's just like, I don't have like a lot going on at VCU anyway, so it's not like I'd be missing anything. Um, but yeah, it, it, like I said, it once again ties back to your needs and wants and a lot of people really desire that um, real college experience. And for me, it wasn't really about that. It was more about what is like financially reasonable for me and my family and getting the education and getting on with my life. You know, um, I know the next question would go to you, um, Kyler, but I have something to add. Going off of that, um, there are a lot of misconceptions um, and I guess st a stigma associated with community college, I guess because of just the competitive nature of that just comes with, you know, graduating high school. Um, so a lot of people, they want to take the route and go to community college right out of high school, but they're kind of afraid because um, sometimes, I guess, in our I don't know, culture, it's looked down upon. So what would you say against that? Yeah, um, I've never personally been approached about the negative connotation around it, but I definitely know there is one there. And the reason people look down on it is because, because it's so much cheaper, they believe they're getting less of an education. And that's just not true. Um, from experience being in both, you know, institution like I I was here at community college and now I'm at a huge university and for me the classes are just as hard just as information like I'm getting the same thing out of both and that's why I would never look down on anyone who does go to community college and honestly I, I think it would be irrational to do so like I don't understand why you would speak down on someone who's doing something that financially makes more sense but yeah, I would, I would just say that it's the same thing for discounted, you know, it's on sale. Why not? That's a great way to put it. So how did community college help you get where you are today? Um, well, I don't even know how to answer that, to be honest. It's it's kind of just like, 
you know how life you have those stepping stones that you take and for me community college was one of those stepping stones so i obviously just wouldn't be where i am today if i hadn't gone there so it kind of changed everything for me i guess in a way but i think i learned a lot from it you know i i especially out of high school high school and college are so different no matter no matter even if even if you are at a community college it's you know the process is very similar but it's still very different in terms of like the stuff you're you're getting in and and putting back into is very different level and so i think i learned a lot from going to community college about myself and my family and what i wanted with my future and it just it really yeah i guess it just brought me to where i am today and i wouldn't be who i am without it because like i said i learned so much from it and even in the short amount of time i was there awesome okay and then our last question um if you had any advice for the graduating class of 2021 what would it be um my advice for i mean 2021 graduates and even everyone for that matter is the most important thing you can do is evaluate your needs and wants and prioritize those because everybody has different needs and wants and it's super super important for you to evaluate your own sit down write down a list of what you really want first second third fourth like the most important things for you and start from there and then you dabble into your family's needs and wants you know like what is actually doable for you and your family like financially and you know um if you have like socially like if you have things you have to attend to then like that would be on your list but you just really have to sit back and evaluate because it it makes a huge difference going to community college first like I never really thought about it in high school because like my mom had always told me like when you go to college like we will support you no matter what you want to do and so I was like all right cool but um I mean I have an older sister who um is two years ahead of me so she just graduated in 2020 and her freshman year she went to a private university which is I don't know if you guys are aware it's like much more expensive than even normal universities and then um, after that she transferred to George Mason which is also a very expensive university and looking at the debt that she has compared to the debt that I have makes me really really thankful that I went to community college first because I mean those were my needs and I was like I don't really want to pay for the rest of my life for the same education you know so for me it was evaluating my needs and for her her needs were different than mine you know like she wanted the experience she wanted to do that she was okay with paying all this debt off because she got what she wanted out of it and like that's perfectly fine like if that's what you want that's exactly the purpose of evaluating your needs and your wants like that's why we should do it and that's the most important thing i think that i can think of off the top of my head especially about college but i mean it goes for anything really so you talk about your education a lot what is it that you are majoring in i am majoring in business administration with a marketing minor Do you enjoy those classes or are they hard? I mean, some of them are definitely trickier than others, but I really enjoy the reason I chose and I just chose to do the marketing minor last semester because I had a marketing class that I was required to take and I really enjoyed it. And I was like, this is awesome. Like, I want to keep doing this. And so, I mean, I, I kept my major very general because, I mean, with a business degree, you can really do just about anything. And that's why I did the marketing minor because it was super interesting to me and it's cool to have, you know? And um, yeah, um, a lot of them are tricky. Like some of them are tougher than others, but some of them, like if, if it's something you genuinely like, it's gonna be easier for you to wanna learn it and wanna 
do good on it, you know, like get good grades and all that. And so that's why um, the last two semesters I've had, I've done way better than I have in the past in school because like I'm starting to enjoy what I'm learning, you know? And so, yeah, but yeah, some of them are tricky. I just, I have a higher desire to, to actually take in the information I'm getting. I think that's definitely one of um, the most exciting parts of this transition. I'm excited to actually enjoy what I'm learning, I guess. Okay, so I think um, we're coming to the end of the episode here. I think we're almost at an hour now. So um, I think we're gonna wrap up for today, but thank you so, so much for um, coming and discussing with us today. I know I got a lot from it and I'm sure Kyler did too. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I think. Absolutely. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate talking with you guys. Of course. Thank you so much. Okay, so wrap, um, sorry, plugging out for today, Chargers.